No one thought about glitter being plastic or being a microplastic five years ago. No one was talking about it, and we're so happy to see that people are now. I'm Sabre Gray. I'm the founder and CEO of BioGlitz, a plant-based biodegradable glitter company. We are aiming to reinvent the fashion industry and the way that they approach embellishments. Most embellishment is based from microplastics or toxic chemicals. We're working to replace all the toxic chemicals with sustainable ingredients. When I moved to New York, I was 18. I always knew that I wanted to work in fashion, but brings an aspect of sustainability to it. When I started carrying glitter on me, People would approach me and, why are you so shiny? Or what's this on your face? Can I have some? I started glitzing people on dance floors and the subway. Shine made me feel good. It just is kind of my shield, my armor. But I knew it was polyester. So while it's a beautiful thing for connecting humans, it's inherently poisoning our planet. I wasn't gonna stop wearing glitter. That's when I decided, all right, I have to make biodegradable glitter. There was many times where I was just like, this is probably never gonna happen. But I never stopped. We figured out, okay, these are the layers of regular glitter. What sustainable ingredients can we replace the layers with to make it biodegradable? Let's do the pink pigment below First, and yeah. then pat them, yeah. We derive cellulose from eucalyptus trees and we convert that pulp into a film. So instead of using plastic film, we use a plant film. Instead of using all these crazy heavy metalloids, we just use 0.1% aluminum, which when it biodegrades, goes back to its natural state. Someone should take a picture, it looks so yeah. good. Ooh, you look good. I've always wanted to be able to be in control and be my own boss. I love traveling. My office is whatever airplane I'm on or whatever car I'm in. I'm ecstatic that I get to full body glitz models wherever I go and that's my job. <laughs> Since I started the company, we've gone all over the world. Last year we spoke at the Change Now Summit in Paris, a sustainable fashion convention in Copenhagen, a very prestigious accelerator program in Amsterdam called Fashion for Good. The fashion industry is the second most polluting thing to our environment behind oil. And that's really what we wanted to do is start the conversation. People kind of see sustainability in fashion as this less vibrant, less exciting thing. Sustainability doesn't have to be less vibrant. It doesn't have to be crunchy. It doesn't have to be less chic or less exciting. It can be all of those things. 